in order to build successful products, you have to understand why your audience is doing what they're doing. You can look at data and understand the what, but until you understand the why, you don't really have the full story. And then also, I am recently married and Michael's actually engaged and we serve engaged couples and we both acknowledge neither of us are the user. You have to like really put your ego aside and know that you don't represent everyone in every demographic that's going to use your product. I think for me, from the product manager side, the reason that user science really is such a superpower is because a lot of our job as product managers is to get the most out of our resources, no matter how many we have, right? And user science really allows you to narrow in on the right problem to solve. There's a lot of problems that we could be solving, but user science allows you to narrow in on the right one to solve and then test your riskiest assumptions first. So it kind of allows you to build confidence and de-risk the project as you, as you invest more and more into it. And by thinking about it that way, you can actually save literally months and months of time um, by incorporating user science correctly. I think that's really the biggest difference that I've seen between kind of like mediocre teams and mediocre PMs and then really great teams and really great PMs is the ability to apply user science uh, to really leverage the resources they have and deliver kind of outsized returns for, for their customers. Yeah.